Hello, welcome to Primetime Local News. I'm Leo Cruzat. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to start with the ongoing issue regarding the Gulf and Curling Center. The Lloydminster City Council has been taking some heat as they receive a petition for the new planned Gulf and Curling Center maintenance shop. 406 signatures were collected for the potential fight bag against the maintenance shop. Unfortunately, for a petition to gain traction, the city it must be signed by 10% of the population, just over 3,000 people. It sent a message and any time a petition is started and valid, in essence validated but not validated because it didn't have enough signatures on it but still taking note by council from that perspective. A core issue for Lloydminster residents is the borrowing bylaw where city council must decide on borrowing the nearly $3 million tab. Another big political issue addressed on Monday was the battle between the province and Ottawa over ca carbon tax. Last week, Federal Minister and Energy of Natural Resources Jonathan Wilkinson said Saskatchewan residents would not receive rebate checks after the province chose not to hand over the carbon tax on home heating. But, but Wilkinson said that residents will get checks, just not the full amount. CTV's Donovan Mays has the latest. Lloydminster Comprehensive High School is gearing up for their new building expansion. In this week's Beyond the Classroom, we see how the high school is focusing on the programs they can offer when the expansion is completed. Hello and welcome to Primetime Local News. My name is Leo Cruzat. Thank you so much for joining us. A local charity is calling on the community of Lloydminster for more donations for their food bank. I had a chance to talk with the major to tell us more about the information. And that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, stay warm, be safe, and have a wonderful day. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Leo Cruzat. And as always, stay warm, be safe, and have a wonderful weekend. Take a look at this. According to the February report by Rentals.ca, Edmonton's average rent for condominiums increased by 17.1%. On the other hand, one-bedroom apartment in Edmonton increased by 19.1%. With the cost of rent in bigger cities like in Edmonton increasing, could a small city like Lloyd Minister affected by the change? Yes, but certainly not to the extent of what the Edmonton and Calgary markets are. Sock in a Box is just one of the collections along with different amazing and rare items that were featured at the 2024 show and sale event in Lloydminster Exhibition Ground over the weekend. Items such as antiques, comic books and various toys were showcased at the event. While Akwe says Black History Month is about the contribution of the black community in Canada, he also addressed ways for students to tackle the big issue of racism in schools and in the community. Instead of the emphasis on the bigotry and the prejudice side of it. Let's talk about the, some of the systemic issues in education, in healthcare, in housing, even in the legal system. And the more students and young people understand the systemic nature of the problem, the better prepared we are to advance solutions that would work. Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce had its 22nd annual business conference in Lakeland College this morning. The event consists of panels and speakers that focuses on managing businesses and organization. Sarah Herdebees, director of Lakeland HR Solutions and one of the speakers, told us one of the important things new and aspiring business owners should focus on. I think one of the most important things is connection with our team. Again, we're here, we're managing teams of people. We can't forget the human aspect of that. So actually having that soft skills, like some people say, but creating connection, communication, conversation is important. Showing your teams that you care will go a long way. Despite some challenges that the Salvation Army is currently facing, Jennings is still thankful for the contribution and donations from the community. The event will go until the 14th of February, with a total of eight schools participating across the city. You can find more information in Lloydminster Local Immigration Partnership for this event. From Primetime Local News, I'm Leo Cruzat. Proceeds will go to Bar Colony Museum Foundation and other charities in Lloydminster. This event also featured a door prizes ranging from memorabilia, commemorative coins, toys, and much more. If you miss the event, you can follow the Facebook page of Border City Collectors Club for future detail. 
Leo Cruzat, Primetime Local News.